So let's go through a few examples of using this uh, one-dimensional consolidation theory to calculate settlement time uh, or consolidation time within, within soils. Let's say we had an example like this where we had um, a layer of clay and we knew or we found out the, uh, the CV value from tests. Uh, let's say the, the clay was 10 meters thick. Um, and over that um, uh, clay layer we had a sand which is incompressible but was highly permeable. So we knew that water could flow through the sand. Um, underneath the clay we have an impermeable bedrock, so an incompressible material that's also impermeable. And if we subjected that uh, sand um, or that soil strata um, to a, 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 an increase in stress, the a question we might want to answer is how long would it take to reach 90% consolidation? So the first step we need to do is relate um, this degree of consolidation, U, to a TV value. Um, now, you can use an equation or a, um, or, or a table to derive that, um, but if you look at the table, and I've put a link to the, the table um, on my website, um, you can see that um, the relationship between U and uh, TV for U equals 90%, um, gives us a TV value of 0 0.848. So for U at 90%, TV value uh, equals 0 0.848. So if we go back to the, the, the consolidation equation, that TV value is equal to the CV value multiplied by time all over d squared. So we're giving the CV value in the uh, equation and the TV value is derived from the, um, the amount of consolidation we're interested in. Um, what we're interested uh, to find out, or the question's asking us, is what is T within this? So what we need to do is rearrange this equation um, uh, for, in terms of T so T is equal to your TV value multiplied by D squared all over CV. <coughs> so this one is um, derived, so your TV value is derived from the, the degree of consolidation. Your CV value is a, an inherent property of the material. What is the D value here? What's the drainage pathway? Well, you can see that the impermeable bedrock, um, or the, the bedrock underneath the material is impermeable. So there's only one way for the water to flow out of that material, and that's through the, the sand at the top. So the drainage pathway, D, is equivalent to the thickness of the, the layer. So we also know D um, now. So we can work out the time and that's equal to the TV value, which is 0 0.848, multiplied by the drainage pathway, which is squared, which is the thickness of the layer squared, in this case 100, divided by the CV value, which is, in, which is 2. Now, it's important um, when you're doing this problem to make sure that the the length unit within your CV value, in this case it's meters, is the same unit of length in the thickness of your, your layer or your drainage pathway. Um, if this was in, let's say, centimeters squared per year or per month, um, then you'd need to convert the units to, um, to be the same as your, your drainage pathway. So when you square them here, you can see that they cancel out um, within this equation. So what you're left with is a value, um, in terms of units, your TV value is dimensionless or unitless. Um, your D um, value is in meters, and you're squaring it, so you've got meters squared, and you're dividing it by uh, meters squared per year. So you have meters squared on the bottom, and you multiply that by a year, and you can see that the two meters squared, meters squares cancel out or square meters cancel out, and you're left with um, a value in years, so your time value here is in years. So if you do that equation, 
what you end up with is an answer in 42 years. <coughs> so this is quite interesting because we found out a time it would take for your soil to reach 90% consolidation. But we didn't say anything about the stresses. We just uh, said that there was a stress applied. We didn't give it a, a value. Um, so in the next example, I'll go through um, when um, you might um, include a stress within this calculation. OK, let's suppose we had an example that looks a bit like this. So we've replaced the, the bedrock now with incompressible sand. So we know that this material is now permeable. And we've uh, expressed that on the top of the, uh, the, the, the soil layers, we've, we're sticking a 100 kilonewton per meter squared stress. Now, um, we haven't got the CV value for of clay, but we've uh, found out our MV value, the coefficient of volume compressibility. And we've also found out the permeability of the, the clay. Um, we might want to ask the question now, well, after one year, what is the total settlement? So we need to, uh, in this case, em employ uh, both um, sets of consolidation calculations. We need to work out what the total settlement is, um, or total maximum settlement possible, um, and then uh, what the, uh, the, the degree of consolidation is um, after one year. So the first step is to say, well, what is the maximum settlement uh, given that, that new load? So we ask, well, what is delta H, um, the maximum settlement um, for 100 kilonewtons per meter squared in this clay layer? So if we multiply by MV initial sample thickness and the change in stress, take our change in stress to be 100, our initial sample, uh, 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 soil thickness to be 10 meters, and the MV value here to be 0 0.3. And remember, we have to convert from meter squared per meganewton to meter squared per kilonewton to keep it in the same uh, relative units of, of stress. So we have 0 0.3 divided by 1,000 to convert the units, multiplied by 10 multiplied by 100. Well, that equals to 0 0.3 meters or 30 centimeters. And that seems like a reasonable value for 10 meters of clay. I wouldn't expect that to be 30 meters or 300 meters. So it seems like a reasonable value. OK, so the next step is then to say, well, what is our degree of consolidation? What is U after one year? So what is U after one year? So we need to uh, work backwards this time from the TV value. So we need to find out what our TV value is. And we do that using this equation, uh, CV multiplied by T over D squared. Now we know that T now is, or in our question, it's one year. Um, we need know our d squared value, um, so the drainage pathway is now the thickness of the layer over 2 because water can flow both through the sand at the top and the imperme uh, permeable sand at the bottom. So our d is equal to 10 over 2 now, the thickness of the layer over 2. Uh, but what is our CV value? Well, the CV value we need to return to the equation that relates CV to permeability, which is K over the unit weight of water times by the MV value. Now the unit weight of water, I'll use a different colored pen here. The unit weight of water is equal to the density of water, which is one megagram per meter cubed. multiplied by um, the acceleration due to gravity, which is 9.8, or we'll just um, say 10. So the unit weight of water is 10 kilonewtons per meter cubed. The permeability 
is given in the um, uh, in the in the the question, and the MV value is given in the question. Uh, again, we need to be careful that the the units of MV in meter squared per meganewton are the same as the units of um, unit weight. Oh, so we don't have meganewtons, but we convert that to kilonewtons. So we do the same as like what we've done up here. So your CV via CV value equals the permeability, which is 10 to the minus 9 meters per second, divided by your unit weight of water, which is 10, uh, multiplied by the MV value, which is 0 0.3. And we divide that by 1,000 um, to convert it into um, uh, uh, meter squared per kilonewton. Um, so we can, instead of putting the thousand down here, we can just multiply the top by a thousand. So our CV value comes out at 10.7 uh, meters squared per. Okay, so we now have our T value, that was what the question's asking for. We have a D value and we have a CV value, so we should be able to work out what our TV value is, you know, the time factor. So if we put everything into this equation, our CV value is 10.7 meters squared per year. Our T va value is one year. So we have to be careful that we, our um, time uh, the T value is the same as the units of the CV value, which is per year. Um, if it was, if the CV val value was uh, meter squared per second or centimeter squared per second or per month or something, we'd need to convert. But we can just put it straight in here. So 10.7 times 1. And the D um, value is 10 over 2, which is 5. 5 squared is 25. So the time factor value comes out at 0 0.428. Now if we take the TV value, the time factor value, and we use either equations or the table to derive a, a degree of consolidation, um, we'll see that our degree of consolidation um, is equal to 72%. So what that's saying really is that the um, after one year, this soil has settled, uh, or 72% of the total settlement has been reached. So the total settlement is this value here, uh, 0 0.3 meters. So we know that 72% of that value has been reached after one year. So the total settlement after one year, in terms of meters, is equal to 70% of 0 0.3 meters. So delta H at um, one year is equal to uh, 0 0.3 multiplied by 0 0.72. 72% of that, which comes out at um, 22 centimeters, or 0 0.22 meters.